Ma'am? Howdy. Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. It sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a five-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go! I'm at least seven gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. Cousin Calico's Ranch. I'm raring to go. Always kind to his brother. Comes in as a friend. Gets his homework done early. Gives up his seat on the train. Oh, yeah. He's always using his brain. Listens close to his mother, always helps out his dad. Everyone seems to like him. Cause Billy ain't bad. Hi, Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd is being rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town, and I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. Hi, 
I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. Orchid squid of the Santa Clara squids, and these would be Perry and Ape. <gasps> er, uh, apricot. Some rustlers took my cousin Togfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Rustlers taking your cousin Togfish sounds mighty suspicious to me already. Hi, I'm Freddy. And this is my pal, Luther. Well, hello. Eight fingered Phil. Dr. Piano Ology, at your service. We're looking for some hogfish rustlers. Have you seen anything suspicious? Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's OK. Thanks anyway. Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loon. What can I do for you? We uh, wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Oh, boy. Maybe they left a clue. Thank you. Look, Freddy, maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. One, two, six. I'll bet the Rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Customers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles! I'm Nelson Toso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. What's that big thing? Eh? Oh, that, that's, um, it's a personal project. Nothing important. What are these plans? Oh, those are the blueprints for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants. I'll bet they look nice. Oh, they're very popular. Did you see this picture? It's my son, Half Nelson. 
He was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. One, two, six. It says, just buckles. Road closed due to construction. Back shortly. Come on, let's check out that hatch. Okay. It won't open! It's locked! Wait a minute! Didn't I see a combination written somewhere? Hmm... This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. One, one, two, nine, eight, seven, six. <laughs> we did it! It's open! Boy, I'll say! I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Thornet, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine. A belt buckle like mine. And a fashionable bandana. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep. We all wear the latest rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Russellmania magazine. Hmm. An orange 10 gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with an S on it, and a bandana. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in, cause this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. This is the rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Hogfish, quiet down or else, or else I'm calling Mr. Big. Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. I guess whoever was working here is done now. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you could say that again. 
we made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about seven feet by seven feet ought to do it. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks. Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddie Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go! Therefore I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Great! Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. Oh boy, a real ten gallon hat. Gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was anyone under there. You could have knocked! On a hat? looks a little tired. It's barely floating. Look, it's a suitcase. <laughs> Phew! It's no use. It won't budge. <laughs> we made it! I knew we could do it! It's a crank handle. What's it doing here all by itself? Shouldn't it be attached to something? Yeah, I doubt it belongs in this cave. I wonder how it got in here anyway. Good question. Oh boy! I see another purple sea urchin. My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Swim. We're helping my cousin Calico. Her hogfish were taken by some rustlers. Rustlers, eh? Well, I wouldn't know about that. I've known a few wrestlers in my day, but no rustlers to speak of. 
Say, is that a bandana you've got there? Sure is. Very handy. Although sometimes I wish I had something sturdier to carry my gear in. Hey Luther, what's round and purple and pokey? It is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. <laughs> it says free wood. These plants say they need a piece of wood seven feet by seven feet. should be useful. You should be careful you don't get splinters. Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it, you know who. And deliver it right away, it's urgent. Yes, sir. Oh. <clears throat> oh, hi, kids. Hello. That's not gonna do me any good. <laughs> it's a shame it's such a nice floor. Yeah, too bad someone cut it round. Well, someone left the coffee stain on the plants. Yeah, yeah. These plants say they need a piece of wood Seven feet by seven feet. It's a piece of wood. I don't think I need that right now. What size wood did they say they needed? Seven feet by seven feet. Oh, yeah. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Our work here is done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. Water from coming down here. Hey, that sail is keeping the water from coming down here. Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. Uh, 
Oh no! It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. That's not gonna do me any good. It's a crank handle. Another purple sea urchin. Boy, somebody's been leaving these all over the place. It's just a pile of junk. It's a bone. Better to do? Yikes! He must be really hungry. Maybe if we give him something to eat, we can swim past him while he's busy. Good idea. was enough time for us to swim past. No, I don't think so. seems to take him a little longer to chew. But I still don't think that was quite enough time for us to get by. Freddy Fish, and this is my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No, <laughs> you like the letter U. Just U? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, and... Um, oh, now what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. <laughs> It looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Those 
Our pickle fit locking wheel nuts. The finest wheel nuts ever made. They come in a variety of shapes, guaranteed to fit any wheel made after 1986. And if it doesn't fit, you can take advantage of our liberal exchange policy. Pickle fit nuts are all currently available at one low price. Just three purple sea urchins per nut. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly! Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans, and you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes! Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good! Good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple sea urchin. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course. You can select any shape you like. This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. Can we buy another wheel nut? We don't need another wheel nut. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in... You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry! I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big! I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is! It's real good. any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spoops him something awful. What's he got against glue? this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to Hermit in peace. Thank you. Hmm. Are you ready to start? Here is a fun game. Pop the bubbles before they run into you. Oh! <laughs> 
Make us a belt buckle out of this. <gasps> sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. I don't think I need that right now. I think I need that right now. There! It fits perfectly! I knew that handle belonged somewhere.
It's cayenne. Cayenne? Um, cayenne is kind of hot. Looks okay. Whew. M. I'd like to buy your pack of bubble gum, please. Excellent, excellent. Super Rubber Bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, the gum is two purple sea urchins. So you can give me the second one right away. Or, if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you. And I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid. Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You've made a wise purchase. Thank you. No refunds. busy for a while. Yeah, actually, he looks very happy.
I really like those hats. Hmm. An orange 10-gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with an S on it, and a bandana. We don't have any of those things. We'd better get cracking. I like this gold starfish. Let's take it with us. Okay. Freddy, let's take this starfish instead of the other one. Okay. Freddy, let's take this starfish instead of the other one. Okay. Whatever you're cooking smells good. It's a Harris Slim special super stew. My own recipe. <sighs> oh. Not quite ready. One letter. This is for the belt buckle. <gasps> okay, stand back! That's missing is about. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Torso. Please call me Nelson. So this is what we need to look like wrestlers. We've already got a big old wrestler belt buckle. We still need the hat and the bandana. Pay 
Sean's engine. I've gone to a lot of trouble and expense to hire these sheep head to jump over this fence for you. So count them and go to sleep. Please? Please just go to sleep. Please? Excuse me, uh, Mr... Shrimp's the name. Used to be Sheriff Shrimp, but now I guess it's just plain shrimp. What happened to the sheriff part? They took my gold star. You can't be a sheriff without a gold star. Folks won't respect you. Maybe we could help you get your star back. Yeah! I'll tell you what, this county would owe you a great service if you did. Hey, I've got an idea. <coughs> Be free, little boy. Is it coming back down? I don't think so, Luther. Oh, bye-bye, buoy. Look, Luther. This suitcase had a three ton anchor on top of it, and it's not even scratched. Wow! This suitcase looks a lot sturdier than that bandana. Kobe, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? Uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Oh.
like this gold starfish. Let's take it instead of the other one. It's just like the one the sheriff was talking about. Here, I believe this is yours. My starfish! Yahoo! I can't thank you all enough. Anything you need, you just ask. How about that nifty 10-gallon hat? Sure, I won't be needing that old thing anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, there are laws to be enforced. Rustlers to be found, Sheriff Shrimp. He's back in town! But we know where the rustlers are. You there! That's a loading zone! Looks like it's still up to us to catch those rustlers and rescue the hogfish. Let's ride! Yeah! Oh boy, a 10-gallon hat! This is great! How do I look? Like you need a smaller hat. Yeah, maybe you're right. I think these wrestler outfits look nice. We've got all of those things. Our hat is a different color, though. All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah? Well, I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio! Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Okay. Hold it! This is a rustler's only area. I can tell you're not a rustler. You're not wearing a 10-gallon hat. You don't have a big old rustler-style belt buckle. You don't have a fashionable bandana like I have. So I can't let you pass by. I'll bet. If we were wearing rustler costumes, we could fool that guard. What do you think? It might be a little big for you. But do I look like a rustler? Oh! Yes! Huh? This will make me look even more like a rustler. Wrestler disguise, Freddy. Thanks, Luther. I hope it fools the guard. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Hold it! This is a rustler's only area. I can tell you're not a rustler. Your hat's all wrong. That's last year's color. So I can't let you pass by. Gee, 
Hey, Freddy, this wrestler costume didn't work. You're right, Luther. We need to get it right, or we'll never rescue the hogfish. I'm going to take these off. It's lemongrass. Is that anything like lemonade? It's a little more sour than lemonade is. Boy, you're not kidding. I kind of like it though. I can't keep it in the hat. There's a hole in it. Stella sure is pretty, don't you think? looks nicer now. Try to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. Ahem, howdy. I reckon Mr. Big Must has sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... 
Poor Maury, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. We did it! Shh! We did it! We're inside! Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen! What do we do now? It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. Hey, it looks like there might be a way out under all these cannonballs. Phew, these are heavy. There, that does it. The missing hogfish, all right. We're not missing. We know just where we are. Did you come to rescue us? That's right. Good. The food in here is terrible. By the way, I'm Freddy and this is Luther. My name's Gruntle. I'm glad you're going to rescue us. It's really crowded in here. We've been working on the window bars a little bit, but we couldn't manage to break them. Freddy and I will find you a way out of here. Great. We'd better hurry. Those wrestlers could be back any minute. Don't worry. We'll have you out of here before you can say the cat sat on the hat and smashed it flat. I'm not sure I could say that at all. But thanks. I hope we get out of here soon. I've been craving cherry kelp jubilee. And these rustlers are terrible cooks. Don't worry. We'll have you out of here in no time. What do you think that's doing here? The big barbell? We're supposed to get to work out with it. But it's too crowded in here to use it. That's too bad. Yeah, but we don't really want to work out anyway. That looks like fun. Let's see if we can lift it. Later. Right now, we've got to free these hogfish. Hey, thanks. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there. But it looks like you and I can. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. I wonder what this does. Wow! That anchor looks really heavy. I'll bet that weighs six tons. What does that mean? That means it's really heavy. Oh. I think I see something behind this thing. You're right. I can't see it very well. The rudder's in the way. I think we have to move this rudder if we're going to get that thing out of there. Hi to starboard, Ensign. Yeah. 
Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there. <laughs> Look at this neat hook! Do you think maybe it belonged to a pirate? I don't know, but I bet it will come in handy. Here, why don't you hang on to it? Okay. Maybe I could use this chain to yank those bars out. I wonder if this will bring the anchor back up. Why is the anchor on this chain? So the anchor stays attached to the boat when you drop it. of this room. That's not gonna do me any good. I hope we get out of here soon. I've been craving cherry kelp jubilee and these rustlers are terrible cooks. Don't worry, we'll have you out of here in no time. I think I need that right now. This is a nice dirty chain. I bet if we attach this hook to the chain, it'll reach those bars. <laughs> this should free those hogfish, Luther. Prepare to drop anchor. Ready, Freddy! Fire away! What? No! Come back! Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Maury? I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <gasps> when the wrestlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. 
I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? Nelson, when we first came to your shop, you were working on something that wasn't a belt buckle. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. It was a barbell. In fact, it was that barbell right over there, wasn't it? Well, uh, yes, as a matter of fact, it was. I thought it would be good for the hotfish to get some exercise. A healthy body is very important. Are you saying I'm fat? Oh, no, no, I just, um... So that means Nelson Torso is Mr. Big? <gasps> That's right. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm afraid I am. Just Buckles hasn't been doing too well, you see. Since folks don't need very many buckles around here, I thought I might have better luck as a hawkfish rancher. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. Yes, yes. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers. But we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son! Oh, yeah! How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course! Here, I've got something for you. Ten gallon hats! Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh boy! Now come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso.
Bye. <laughs> 